So matrices A and B are given and we need to find the least square solution of AX equals B. Well, uh, if we know that AX equals B, we can write this down as matrix A times X matrix X1, X2 equals matrix B. Um, so we will start by finding A transpose times A. So this equals A transpose is 1, negative 2, negative 1, 2, 0, 3, 2, 5 times matrix A. And this equals um, 1 times 1 um, plus negative 1 times negative 1 plus 0 times 0 plus 2 times 2. Then we have 1 times negative 2 minus 1 times 2 plus 0 times 3 plus 2 times 5. Uh, in the next row we have negative 2 times 1 plus 2 times negative 1 plus 3 times 0 plus 5 times 10. Oh, so plus 5 times 2, sorry. <laughs> And uh, negative 2 times negative 2, so it's 4, plus 2 times 2, plus 3 times 3, so it's 9, and plus 5 times 5, so it's 25. And we get that A transpose times A equals uh, 6, 6, 6, 42. Now let's find A transpose times B. It equals A transpose times matrix B and it equals 1 times 3 minus 1 times 1 plus 0 times negative 4 plus 2 times 2 then negative 2 times 3 plus 2 times 1 plus 3 times negative 4, plus 5 times 2. So it equals uh, uh, 6 and negative 6. So this means that this matrix times uh, x1, x2 equals this matrix. And now we can solve it using row operations. So we will write down the augmented matrix 6, 6, 6, 42, 6, negative 6. Our first step is to divide the first row by 6. So row 1 becomes row 1 over 6. And our matrix becomes 1, 1, 1, 6, 42, negative 6. Now let's divide the second row by 6 and we will get we will get 1 1 1 1 42 over 6 is 7 and negative 1 here. Our next step um our next step is to um <laughs> is to substitute the first row from the second row so row 2 becomes row 2 minus row 1. And here we get 1, 1, 1, 0, 6, uh, negative 2. Now we divide our second row by 6. And we get row 2 becomes row 2 over 6. So here we get 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, negative 1 third. And now we subtract our second row from the first row. So row 1 becomes row 1 minus row 2. And our matrix becomes 1, 0, um, 4 thirds, 0, 1, negative 1 third. So from this matrix we get that x1 equals 4 thirds and x2 equals negative 1 third.